What's up guys, Power Bang here, and as I promised, I'm bringing you guys a video today, strategy session, again on Dragons. I wanted to give you some more Town Hall 9 examples, as well as maybe mix in some Town Hall 10 content, using those Dragons to pull off a 3 star as well, so stay tuned for that. First off, let's start with the Town Hall 9s, and we can build the fundamentals off of that for the Town Hall 10 attack uh, later in this video. So first off, let's look at the base, guys. As you can see, uh, it's the offset queen style base with the air defenses uh, heavily skewed toward one side of the base and when you see that take a look at how you can accomplish taking out three or more of those air defenses to give your dragons a great shot at taking out this base so I believe what Jantra tries to do here is he actually starts a queen walk over from nine o'clock uh, right over here by this elixir collector and he's going to go ahead walk take out the first air defense break into the wall I believe by this archer tower and get into that compartment because that puts him in range of this air defense over here and this air defense over here also is going to get him in range of the clan castle and the air sweeper there. Uh, so that's looking really good. And then as that queen continues to kind of, she'll probably bang through the wall somewhere in this area after that middle compartment's clear. That's going to put her in range of all this stuff over here. And eventually he'll be able to drop that king and uh, funnel his way into the last air defense. That means we can deploy the dragons from the top. They'll tackle the queen head on. And uh, guys, we do not need any zap quakes this raid because we're able to take out three of those air defenses, possibly a fourth, uh, with just the queen walk. So the queen walk, queen charge. Um, so that's going to allow him to take a lot of rages, um, haste, you know, for example, we'll just watch the, uh, the replay here and you'll see exactly what I just talked about. Four rages is what he took. I didn't actually know, uh, how many that he took in this raid. It's just kind of from the scouting process. So the minions go down up top to help the funneling process. That's going to force that queen to the south. So there it is. Giant comes down on the bottom to, uh, distract the defenses while the wall breakers open up the wall. So here we go. Uh, to the mortar, the queen walks down, picks up the first air defense. Uh, that is perfect. So now she's going to walk to the south. And as she's getting to this compartment, you're going to see some minions come down to help the funneling process as well. Make sure that queen does not come out of the compartment. Um, so poison spell down for the king. Uh, the queen is going to take her him out as well and then work her way into the uh, compartment that was opened up by those wall breakers. You're going to see as she moves in, a rage spell goes down to keep her up, taking out a whole bunch of defenses there, and then a poison spell down to receive the clan castle troops as well. First thing taken out is the dragon, and then another rage spell goes down. That is two rages that have been spent on this queen so far, guys. Um, something to note about that, you know, you might be saying, well, that's an awful lot to invest with your queen. Well, if your queen does not get the objectives that you set out for, um, that is just not going to not gonna be a good thing. So you'll see on the right, he sends some wall breakers in, um, does not have his tanking last long enough for them to break through the wall. So he does weaken the wall, and that's going to uh, attract the king to that spot later on in the raid, but he will have to beat through. So uh, anyways, he continues on with the queen. Three air defenses have been taken down at this point, and you're going to start seeing the dragons come in from the top. Three dragons go down uh, to start funneling, and then he sends in his uh, his other three or four dragons. I can't remember how many he had. I want to say eight in the, in the camps here. Two balloons in behind, and those balloons were specifically uh, to take care of any seeking air mines uh, that were you know, hidden up there to, to protect the queen from a dragon kill. Uh, but the dragons fan out, and as you can see, with the, air, uh, the expos in the middle on ground, uh, there's really nothing to fear right now with the exception of two Teslas and an air defense. So the queen and the king are working their way towards the air defense. He backed up the, uh, uh, the, king, or the queen with this king, and then you're going to see two more balloons. He's kind of in desperation there trying to target this air defense uh, before it does too much damage. But the beautiful thing here is once this king uh, goes ahead and takes care of this army camp, He's going to get th right through the wall, uses that ability, goes back to the spot that the wall breaker's damage, uh, gets right through. But check this out. The queen and the king lock on to the fourth air defense there. It is down. And then four dragons still up from the top. Beautifully done. Taking out the center of this base. And the cleanup, guys, is already done because his queen and king have survived. And that is that. Jantra getting it done with a, a brilliant raid there. And honestly, it did not quite all go to plan. The giant down south died before the wall breakers opened up the wall. Um, but even still, it still worked out for him uh, due to some good thinking on the fly there. Wanted to show that one, guys, because 
Um, you know, things don't always go exactly to plan. You got to know how to adapt uh, when things don't exactly go uh, according to your vision. So here's another example, guys. You've seen the Queen Walk, uh, you know, version of this now a couple times. Now, what happens if again uh, you see an offset queen? Uh, style anti-3 base, which is kind of the new meta. Um, if you see that style of base, and you've got the queen down here, uh, you've got all the air defenses away, look at how close those air defenses are to each other. What happens if you park a queen uh, between, you know, this air defense, or this, uh, this expo there and the archer tower, she's going to have an absolute field day, taking out everything that is dear to this base, but what he does, guys, is more or less adapts the max attack, which is the uh, quad quake method of entering the base, uh, with a normal shatter kill squad. So you're going to see two golems come down, uh, not getting anything fancy there with the queen walk or anything like that. He's going to send the king, the queen, and then uh, use a couple wizards to funnel, and try to put his heroes right in the middle of the base here. So the first thing that you're going to see happen is the uh, the kill squad along with the quad quake are going to come down. And that quad quake opens up the, uh, the walls there right in the middle. I love how he dropped that quake. He did not open up uh, the side compartments there. He dropped three on one side, one on the other, only to overlap. Uh, that middle section, and that will make it so the queen has nowhere to go but straight into the base. Um, so really, really genius stuff there from Dan Howe. Opens up the uh, compartment there with wall breakers, and after that funnel has been made, he actually sends in a third golem there for tanking purposes. Uh, so a stoned entry is actually coming in. Uh, the king and the queen back and everything up. Poison spelled down on the, uh, the clan castle troops. Uh, the queen is going to be working on that dragon. Looks like he might have missed the poison spell a little bit, but no big deal. Drops the heal spell there, um, leading the, the golems and the king into the air defenses. The queen picks out the first air defense on the top there. Uh, we're working on the queen on the bottom, which is another really uh, nice bonus that he's going to get here. Uh, so he gets the second air defense down, the third air defense down, pops that ability, comes over, locks onto the queen, gets the queen down, and then gets the sweepers down, and gets the fourth air defense with the king and the queen there, and it is basically good night for this base. Just a matter of time now, as those dragons on the top, he does eat a couple traps, but guys, uh, kill squad still alive, golems, you know, absorbing the fire there in the core, uh, his heroes have gone down, but again, two balloons left. And those balloons are going to be able to um, take out some defenses while they're distracted with the dragon. So it's just kind of, uh, you got to be smart where to use those balloons. But notice, uh, he only has five point defenses right now. He's got three Teslas, two Archer Towers left to deal with. Uh, one of the Teslas is down, and we've got the balloons coming in to target the Archer Tower. And uh, the second Tesla is down, and the Archer Tower is now down as well. So... Really only two defenses left from the base, and uh, he's got some archers and wizards kind of helping with the cleanup process at this point. Um, hopefully this has been helpful, though, guys, seeing how this is done. Uh, one thing to take note of is, you know, the scouting of the base. If you see a clumped up group of defenses like that that aren't necessarily um, spread, if they're clumped up, you can actually just send in a shattered or stone kill squad uh, to have your heroes take care of that, you know, with a uh, focused push into the base. If the air defenses are spread and away from the queen, but accessible, that's where you're going to want to take a queen walk to that base. Uh, just as you saw in the previous example by Jantra, the queen walk will actually get you access to all of the air defenses that you need to take out. Um, they might not be close enough together to get with a shattered or stone kill squad, um, but they are accessible, and that's the key. Accessible means uh, they're uh, you know open to a queen walk. Uh, but that's going to do it, though, for this base. Way too many dragons left up, and uh, it's just all a matter of time now. Gets that last archer tower taken out, army camp done, and that's going to be a three-star for the good guys. Dan House showing us how it's done with the stone goho, in, not the goho, but the stone golem entry. Um, getting in there, taking out all four air defenses, both sweepers, and the clan castle, and the queen. Um, so a lot of spells were dedicated to that initial push, which is perfect. All right, guys, so let's look at one last raid today. Uh, this is going to be uh, John getting taken out by Grey Killer. And let's look at the base. This is a very common base that you'll see at Town Hall 10, kind of that spiral clover style design. Um, you're going to see the Teslas pop up in the core there on each side of the Town Hall. 
Uh, he does have level 2 Inferno, so, you know, not, you know, super low level there. And uh, lower level heroes for Town Hall 10, however, um, this can work all the same. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about here um, as this raid starts. So the plan, guys, you want to take out two air defenses at the, uh, the Town Hall 10 level. And since you have extra camp space, you can fit more stuff. I mean, that's pretty obvious, but still able to take eight, eight dragons in addition to the queen walk. And also, in that clan castle, this is key, you're able to take a hound to address the third air defense. Now, guys, remember how I always preach, um, take enough stuff to take out three air defenses prior to a dragon raid or more. Um, and then uh, that fourth one you can kind of deal with, uh, you know, with maybe some spells. You'll see that he has a zap quick. So in comes the, uh, the king here. He wall breaks open. He's going to take out that first objective, which is the air defense number one. Now the queen breaks into the next compartment. Her job is to walk all the way down. You'll see eventually what's going to be in range right there. Oh, the air defense. So it's just a matter of keeping her alive. Three rage spells in his back pocket there. So we can dedicate at least one uh, to getting to the second air defense and taking it out. You can see that queen starting to get a little bit low there. Uh, so he drops the rage on her. She's going to start working through the sweeper. That's another key objective down here. Uh, working through all these buildings, looking real good. Takes out the storage, and he's going to continue on. So that's going to leave one air defense uh, up over here on the far right. Now watch the angle that he takes with his hound when he does attack that. From the top, he drops a quake first. Make sure to drop the two zaps right on top of the air defense. Now that air defense is taken out on the bottom. That's three air defenses now, guys, uh, with his kill squad. You're going to see the clan castle come down uh, right about now. Look how it's on the bottom. That hound flies. Look at all the traps that he's going to soak up. Two air bombs so far. Uh, flies all the way over. Uh, three air bombs, two seeking air mines, guys, with one hound. Now, he seeks some uh, balloons right in there behind to go ahead and target that air defense directly. Uh, they move on over inside of a rage spell and get it taken care of. Uh, the dragons are backing everything up. So now we've got no air defenses left, guys. Only the core infernos uh, are really to be concerned with, and it looks like the queen is actually soaking up one of those beams. Uh, she's going to go ahead and lock on to the Tesla there. The healers are still working on keeping her up. Uh, the dragons have really, really, really high hit points, guys. So the multi-infernos really pose no threat to the, you know, the heroes, the dragons. Look at how uh, they are not even phased by those multi-infernos. They're going to get into the, uh, the last part of this base. There is three defenses right now that are really plaguing them, and that is going to be the expo and two archer towers there. Uh, but no big deal. It looks like we have a queen at full health. Uh, that is going to help out taking care of the expo there and stepping up to take out the archer tower. Uh, getting some skeleton traps as well, though, guys. We still have four dragons, it looks like. Three dragons still up in the air um, to take out the last couple buildings there. Gets that three-star done, and uh, beautiful job accounting for those air defenses. Again, great killer. Uh, took out one air defense with his king, one air defense with his queen. He gets one with a hound, and uh, the balloons and the uh, dragons back up that hound, take out the third air defense, and the fourth one was dealt with by a zap quake up top, and then with the king and the queen pushing their way in uh, on that bottom left side, that creates a nice narrow funnel for those dragons to kind of shoot their way straight through the core without straying too much, guys. Uh, so... That is going to do it for this video on dragons. Wanted to show you guys some more methods that you can actually use um, to approach a base in this fashion. Just remember to get three plus air defenses and deal with anything that you can't pick up uh, with a Lava Hound, which uh, Great Killer showed brilliantly here. Um, again, guys, if you look at the base, you scout it, and uh, we'll you know pop back over to the other bases. If you scout the base and you realize that all of the air defenses clumped up in the same section, and you can actually access it with a focused push, use a stoned or shattered entry with golems. Forget the Queen Walk. Just dive your heroes in there. Let them take care of it. So Dan Howe showed exactly how to do that. Rewind it, watch it again if you want to see more. And then if you want to see another example, uh, let's check out Jantra. And Jantra did a great job scouting the base here. 
and you'll notice that the air defenses again are away from that queen they are all accessible as long as this wall piece here is broken and the queen can get into that compartment that's going to allow her to pick up three air defenses and an air sweeper um, and that is a, a brilliant thing to have happen and then the goal was to take out the fourth air defense by wall breaking in uh, this part over here uh, and then accessing it with the king he did have to adapt on the fly for that but all four air defenses had a plan that allowed him to take four rages and really uh, give the dragons an extra boost as they headed through the base so guys that is going to do it for this strategy guide on dragons for town hall 9 and town hall 10 hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you liked it hit that like button share this with your clan mates guys and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i'll be coming at you with some more clash of clans content in the very near future we'll see you guys tomorrow have a great day this is power bang and i'm out